How's it going guys? It's Poetry Set and welcome back to another episode of the City Skylines campaign with the Disasters DLC. Uh, where we last left off, we have a lot of desire or demand for uh, industry, which I believe we're going to use the office spaces for. So let's come in here and go ahead and uh, mark some of this stuff up for inspection. No, for, uh, for use, you know. Let's get some office spaces. I think this one was maybe going to be residential. I'm not sure. Actually, I don't know. We don't. It looks like we don't really have that much need for residential right now, and I'd rather have our residential be a little more sheltered. Uh, what we could do is right now have this area be office space, and I, kind of, I was kind of talking about at the end of the last episode how I want to have this area here definitely, at least this like uh, block, um, be office space because then it'll be like a high tech beachfront office space and then we could probably just make this high tech beachfront office space as well um it's just the only thing is i want to have at least some like high tech residential like apartments like beachfront apartment buildings you know that'd be kind of cool i like that that idea uh so why don't we go ahead and Let's just kind of come in here and get some of the stuff. I mean, of course, we could also just have a mix of the two. And normally, that's honestly the most efficient way to do it. But, you know, I'm not necessarily the most efficient person in this game. I do what I think looks nice. Uh, and lots of times, it, may, it might make it a, a little less efficient. I'll, I'll admit, uh, you know, I'll admit that completely. But, yeah. Let's go ahead and get that in there. It's locking up pretty well, which is nice. Uh, I also, well, I remembered one of the mods in between videos. Actually, I should have gone and checked. Uh, if you're wondering what mods I'm using, one of them is the precision engineering, which lets you like angle snap in five degree in yeah increments. Uh, that one was actually introduced to me by my buddy Apocalyptic, who I mentioned in the last video. But uh, yeah, let's just kind of do wild designs. You know why not? Um, let's go over here and come like that and come like, you know, and that's the thing. It doesn't need to be like super blocky and straight and, uh, and very, you know, super efficient like the, it has been in the past. Like, like, uh, one sec, give me, give me a sec. So like all these are just very gridded up, but we don't need that up here. This is, this is the free thinking part of town, dude. Don't act like that, man. Just loosen up a bit, you know? I don't know. Which is funny because it's actually the corporate se center of the town. It's a little ironic of me to do like a, uh, a hippie stoner 70s punker, punk, punker, yeah, punk rocker sort of voice when I, in reality I was... This is like gonna be the corporate sector of the town, but it's cool. It's it's it still works pretty efficiently, and it looks cool. I like it. I think it's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, block it up. So I do think we want to have some. I'll tell you what. How about this? Let's do a compromise, and what we'll do is have this. This entire block will be office space. How about that? Um, you guys honestly probably don't mind whatever I do that much. Um. So that will be all office space. And then how about this side will be office space, but with some mixed in residential. We need, do we do need some um, a bit more commercial. I cannot speak today. What is wrong with my my voice? I didn't know. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's do it like this and have some residential, uh, I mean commercial, and then some residential in the middle. Yeah, I think actually that's probably what I need to do, honestly, is have a have a bit of a of residential here with some commercial and stuff. Maybe what we'll do is have like this sector will be some smaller office buildings. And then this one will be this one will be the uh chalk full of freaking residential areas. Yeah. Um, in this area, what we're probably gonna do, well, let's just, let's just let this peter out. Um, we need to go ahead and get our piping all good to go. It doesn't really matter if it goes into the ocean. Fishies need water too. I mean, that's just literally true, but not in the way I meant it. Not in the way that I implied, you know? They don't need sewage. Um... 
and let's just let everything pop out, you know? Let's go ahead and maybe put a, uh, a firehouse down here. Like down, like right there, and a police building as well. Probably would be nice to have a little bit, a little bit closer. Um, and let's just let the let the stuff start popping in. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. It's at the perfect temperature where it's like just hot enough. It feels good, but it's not burning. Mmm, and look at that demand going down as people move in. It's gonna be real nice like. One sec, let me get my mouse cord all up here so it doesn't keep like dragging down, you know. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, it makes sense that it'd be a little bit less like ideal looking in uh min maxi since this is getting to the part of the uh the town where it has this curve built in of this beach, you know, so that's fine, I think. Let's just wait a little longer, and one of these buildings should hook them up to the grid. Come on now. Just, we just need like one more. A couple more, actually, but, you know. Come on now, just, just get hooked up. Hook yourselves up. Um, let's go ahead and look over here. Okay, they found enough workers for now over there in forestry land. One thing I think that is uh, something that hurts, that's hurting us is, uh, or never mind, it's not really hurting us now, but like one thing I think that hurts us uh, occasionally or hurts me in my style of play is that I wait till there's a whole bunch of demand and then build up, and I think that hurts with like getting a whole bunch of like worker um, vacancies. Not having enough workers for huge chunks of like industry areas, I think that's partially because of the commute and people it takes for time for them to get there. Uh, but it also I think is partially because I wait so long, so there's so many businesses sprouting up at once. So what I probably should do for an area like this is go ahead and do like you know a good chunk of it now. So that when they need it, when they when it's needed, then it'll start popping up. I think that's probably a good idea. Let's go in here and uh, weed out these little abandoned buildings. Is that it? Man, I think our, I think we're looking pretty good though. So when these are empty. We're gonna try to delete a couple of them and see if uh, replacing them with incineration plants helps. Someone in the comments uh, was also saying, yeah, just use only incineration plants. And I have done that, it's just sometimes, I don't know why, but I've had issues. I wonder if it's just me, I didn't wait long enough for it to percolate out. But sometimes uh, it seems like they don't like, it don't actually get new trash sometimes, but maybe that's just me. Again, I think I might have just been using that wrong. Uh, we are gonna need an elementary school. Let's go to. Let's put, put one down here, since we're probably going to need one at that place anyways. Let's go ahead and put one down like here as well though. Um, maybe even put one here. Um, actually, we're probably going to need another one over here too, near the beach. Let's just, you know, let's put them ahead of time. No big deal. Oh my god, our high schools are awful. I haven't looked at the high schools in a while apparently. Uh, let's just go in and knock some businesses out of here. <laughs> high school, there you go. We have another high school there. Let's, can we can we squeeze a high school in here somewhere? Thank you. Okay, and we need a high school like back here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we still need more. Wow. Okay, apparently I should pay attention to stuff more often. Who would have thought that maybe I am not the most attentive attentive person? Not enough money now, huh? We're losing some population. I think that's because we kick people out of their, out of their homes to build schools. You know, it's it's a necessary evil, people. Okay, let's see. That's still not enough, even actually. Okay. We should maybe just go ahead and put one. Somewhere over here. Yeah, and there we go. Now we have enough, but like we might want to go ahead and 
Well, we're gonna need one over in this area probably either way. So let's go ahead and put one over there. There we go. University guys, we should still be okay. Yeah, we're good there at least. Um, trains are working good. Okay, and we do need to figure out where do we want to have our sort of uh, our harbor be. I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, yeah, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm gonna do this right now. What I'm gonna do is, we have a space to buy. I'm gonna buy this space. You know, I'm gonna need to buy this one at some point, and possibly this one and this one. We'll see. But uh, I think I definitely want this one. Uh, and there's a couple of reasons for that. But the first is, I think that we want to put our harbor over here. Maybe not our, uh, well, actually, yeah, that might be a good idea to put our, our harbor and our passenger harbor over here. Or maybe we want to put our passenger harbor over somewhere else. I don't know, over in this area, if we even get that far. Huh. Let's think about it. Uh... This area is always having trouble with garbage. I'm not sure why. The cargo harbor. Yeah, I know, game. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because I'm thinking we should try to get a... We should honestly try to... I don't know, man. Like, we, we should definitely try to get a passenger harbor. But where do we want to put that? Do we want to put that just somewhere right here in front of where all of our uh, tourist stuff is going to be? In front of the main part of our city, maybe? We could put it there, like right, put it right here somewhere. That could be all right. Um, that, that might be what I do, actually. Uh, but this side is definitely going to be focused probably at least a little more towards, uh, towards the, the cargo side of things and business. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's going to be what we're going to do. This train, uh, train station is definitely getting a lot of use, which I really like. Because it's like, that's 93% full, that one's 100% full. They're being used, yeah, it's, it's being used, so, I mean, I'm definitely glad we had that. Um... What we should probably do is, we might want to put in another station here, but for now, let's go ahead and plan this out. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and plan this out. So one thing I think we should do is build another little bridge here. Okay, cool. There we go. Uh, and now what I think we want to do is, well, first off, we should probably just put like a, a road in here to meet up with this other area there. Yeah, that seems good. Um, maybe bring in a road over here. Okay, that looks a little weird, but uh, don't question it. Don't question it. It's going to be fine. Cool. So, like, my thoughts here are that we could have this be a... Uh, this is going to lead naturally through these roads and stuff uh, out to either another train station and possibly a cargo port. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. Let's just go ahead and get in our... Our cargo port uh, road, sort of, get it in place over here. A sinkhole. I don't get it. A sinkhole is about to strike. What? That doesn't even make sense. But I understand. It's a gameplay mechanic, but it doesn't really make sense. Just saying. Cool. Kill, kill, kill. There we go. That's going to be, I think, where we're going to... I think this is where we're going to have it. Basically... What we're going to do is have a harbor. Let's just go ahead and do this now. So we need a cargo harbor. We could actually have two of them if we wanted. Uh, and we might actually want to mess with the terrain a bit. 
Yeah, why not? Let's... If I wanted a little bit larger than that, huh? Oh! God! That's so strong! I didn't realize it was that strong. Uh, let's, let's maybe, like, smooth it out a bit, but... I mean, that's the, that's the right idea, don't get me wrong, but, like, maybe not that much. Let's let the water, uh, collapse in on itself and then, you know, figure out what it's doing. So there's a sinkhole. Cool. It's, I mean, that's cool. It's, uh, not a big deal. There, it's gone. <laughs> uh, we should honestly check on our, uh, our emergency services and stuff. We need some emergency shelters. So, like, we need to put one in this main part of the city, probably. Let's do that. So, we have a... A couple large shelters. They have enough for like 10,000 each, right? There we go. We have enough, uh, we should have enough now. Hopefully. Um... Do we have an earthquake sensor? I do not, do I? Cool, let's just put it there. Um, what about a deep space radar? We should probably get a deep space radar, huh? It seems like something that might be, uh, might be important to, to buy. I don't need these power lines anymore, huh? Timer just went off. That's fine. Yo, I like our city. I think it's pretty good. I and mean, it's maybe not the best city ever, but it's pretty good. Come on now. All right. Uh, we need to get these things. We need to get some more incinerators running over here or something. Let's just... Uh, I, I do think we should try to make the switch to incinerator incineration plants. I'm gonna test it and see if it works. So again, for every one of those that we take out, we should probably put in like two more incineration plants or something like that, I don't know. Okay. One thing, hmm, actually, well, I don't know. Does seem like we are having some garbage issues, but mm. garbage trucks. Tell you what, uh, there you go. That's probably gonna help. Learn it. Try to get them to maybe path that way. Okay, things are looking all right though. Uh, so over here, let's go ahead and, we don't have enough money now. Should have realized that. Okay. Looks like the garbage is starting to get handled. Yeah, it's getting handled. Just gotta give it time to percolate out. Um. Cargo Harbor. Yeah, I, I, again, I do think I want to, uh, to go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and get a Cargo Harbor. Okay, so, um, where do we want it? That's the question. Hey, there it is. Oh, and that's where you can see where the shipping line is. Yeah, I forgot about that. 
It's quite a ways away from like where most of the shipping happens apparently, but uh, that's okay. What we're gonna do to make up for that is build another one. We're gonna build two of them side by side, and I think that will actually, believe it or not, it will probably help a little bit at least. Um, we're gonna have some power issues, but that's okay. Let's go ahead, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the one-way rows that we got and go ahead and uh, do some one-way stuff. Can we upgrade that? No, you can't upgrade that, darn. Forgot, it's like a special sort of road. I've only used the harbors like once ever before, so. Uh, but that's okay. So you have it like that. And then you're gonna have it come back in here. And then another one though is gonna be popping out that way. So basically, Basically to try and split up the traffic a little more, you know? Um, meanwhile, meanwhile, we also want to have a loop that's going to come. This one can be wider, it doesn't really matter. And what we're actually probably going to do is uh, go like this far. And then go like this and like that. And then we're also going to come here and go like this. Might seem a little excessive, and it probably is, but basically what we're going to do here is, well, first off, let's see, is anyone going to be using this? Not yet. That's okay. And it might look a little strange right now, but we can refine it later, you know? Oh, hey, I'm supposed to end this episode. All right, cool. I'm going to go and wrap up this episode here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe for more. It's been a great time doing this city so far, and I've been I'm enjoying it. Uh, we'll go to fix this power and water issues in the next episode. I'll go and see you guys then. Bye-bye.